construction zone. Uh, Ma'am, what do you think about this? Hey, what's up Aquamigos? I hope you guys are all doing well. If you guys saw my last pond build video, you probably know that we finished digging out the DIY backyard koi pond, which is right behind me. This is it right here. And although we did finish digging it out, there are some small details that I would like to take care of in today's video. For one, we have a whole bunch of loose gravel and dirt down there that I want to clean up. And then at the same time, I want to kind of define the shapes of these edges a little bit better and just take care of any other details that I might notice that need taken care of. Sorry, mom, construction zone. Just kidding. Mom, what do you think about this giant hole in the ground? Well, the ground <laughs> so yeah guys, the work that I'm going to be doing in today's video should be a lot less intense than my last several videos because all the heavy work is already done. And then after today, I need to get ready to build that cinder block retaining wall around the pond. So let's get started. So another thing that I was just thinking guys, I could probably just take out the bender board right now. There's no reason for me to have these wooden stakes and bender board in the ground anymore. Oh guys, check that out. It's crazy to look at it without the bender board. Look at that. Let's walk down here. <laughs> Isn't that so cool? Oh man, it just looks so solid. I am really happy with the way this turned out. Wow. Something about removing those stakes and bender board made this thing look so much more complete. What do you think, Tia? Awesome. Nice. What do you think, Rico? Any uh, words, sir? Any word, sir, uh, don't walk away from me. Roxy, what do you think? Uh, Ma'am, what do you think about this? Ma'am, don't ignore me, please. <laughs> it's coming together now, huh, Dad? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alright guys, I just want to take a quick second to show you where we're at. Look at that guys, isn't it starting to look really clean? I still have some, you know, pebbles and rocks down there. I'm gonna try to rake them up really quick with that rake over there, see if I can get all of them. And a few of you actually gave me some pretty good advice, which I think I am going to use. A few of you recommended that I buy some bags of sand to put at the bottom, put like a couple inches of sand at the bottom. You know, that'll cover up all the sharp rocks or whatever might be down there. And of course I will be putting the underlayment on top of that before putting the pond liner on. So that'll add some extra protection against punctures. So that'll definitely help as well, but I really like the idea of the sand and it'll also help me level out the bottom a bit better. So I don't know what you guys think, but I think it looks like it's starting to be ready for the liner. I mean, you know, we still have a couple rocks down here and inevitably there will be some more down here, but hopefully the sand should cover all those up. But check it out guys, I think it's looking pretty good.
I mean, that looks pretty clean to me. And by the way, guys, I will have to clean it out a bit more after we build the wall because there's probably gonna be some pieces of like dried cement down there, little chips of rock and stuff that fall in there while we're doing the wall. But I think for now, that's perfectly fine. And I'm just gonna take a second and do some shout outs. I have a shout out for Sleepy Girl ZZZ, TPW Has Puppies, Santana Studios, Silent Silver, Deco, CKFKKCKFKFKF, Unai Uria Sardina, and Twisted Koi. Thank you guys so much for being Aquamigos. I really appreciate it. If any of you guys watching this video would like a shout out in my next pond build video, all you have to do is go down to the comments below and comment something with the word Aquamigo in it, and I'll shout you out in my next pond build video. So as far as my next video goes, I'm not 100% sure what's going to happen yet. One thing I need to do before I start building the retaining wall is I need to buy some more supplies. One of you brought to my attention that for putting the cinder blocks together, I'm going to need a different kind of concrete mix. The one that I have here has pieces of gravel in it. I need the one that does not have gravel in it, so I'm going to have to buy that. Another thing I'm going to need is rebar to help support the retaining wall. And it's kind of ironic, I guess, because I think I'm also going to need to buy a drill hammer. I found a cheap one on the Harbor Freight website. I think that's the one I'm going to get. It would have been a good idea if I bought that while it was still in the digging stage because then we could have used it for a lot of this dig. But I'm realizing that I'm going to need one because I'm going to have to drill holes in the footing so that I could stick rebar into it. So I'm going to have to get that drill hammer. I'm going to have to buy the rebar and I need that cement that does not have gravel in it. As for those bags of cement that I have, those will be perfectly fine for filling the insides of the cinder blocks, but I will still need the one that doesn't have gravel in it. So yeah, guys, I just need to get those things before we start building the wall. But yeah, guys, it feels so good to be done with this stage of the pond build. If you look back here at my pool pond, you'll see that the water level's a bit low, so I'm going to have to fill that up a bit. Alright guys, so that's gonna be just about it for this video. I'm super excited to be moving on to the next stage of the pond build. To those of you who watched until the end, I really appreciate it. You guys are awesome. As usual, if you did like this video, if you wouldn't mind going down there and giving this video a like, that would help me out so much. If you would like to see more of my pond build progress, make sure that you hit that subscribe button and also hit that bell notifications button. If you would like to follow me on Instagram, I'll go ahead and put my handle right here. It's at YT underscore Tobias and I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Peace.